Hey guys, the chick is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video, and in today's video, guys, we're gonna be going over your season 64 day one path. So, I've for the most part um, hammered this out, and it is subject to change as always. So, you know, the the thing with warships is it's always best to wait, especially now that we have six out of six chests at the beginning, or four to six chests at the beginning rather. <laughs> You're better off to wait and see how the meta is going to dictate But this is at least what I'm thinking is going to be the way to go at, right out of the gate So if you guys haven't already appreciated it, you subscribe to the channel Don't forget to use the code check in the shop and let's get into it So this is all going to be dependent on the stats We take a look at the at the stats here for season 64 We only have 50 building health, okay? So what does that mean? That means defense is not going to be very strong uh, really at all. We have potentially 250 DVD or 150, potentially 200 troop health and 200 troop damage or 100 of each, and we only have 50 gunboat energy, which is weird. So, looking at this, what does it say? That's a lot of offense, it's not really any defense, but we've got a couple potentially heavy hitting, maybe doom cannons, boom cannons, cannons, things like that. Those are going to be able to one-shot, um, you know, mostly everything aside from uh, heavy choppers, of course. So, what does that mean? What does that mean? That means that we want to prioritize things on the offensive end. And also, we start with rocket choppers, and we start with Captain Radera. So, I think they did that. I mean, it's obvious that they did that on purpose because they want everyone to get a taste of the new hero. The way he's meant to be used is obviously with Rocket Choppers being a flying hero. Um, now, typically what happens when it's a base race meta and everything is equal, yes, offense is the way to go, but picking up two extra cannons when nothing else can stop Rocket Choppers except cannons and we have shock launchers and that gives us more troop damage, I feel like that just makes too much sense. The problem with, um, you know, these kind of metas... <laughs> dogs running up here. The problem with these kind of metas is when you skip a bunch of stuff and then you're just screwed because you can't win because you don't have enough offense and you have no defense at all if that's the angle that you're playing. So, if we look at it from that aspect, um, I think it makes sense, and I just didn't upgrade machine guns here for whatever reason, um, to have... Look at defenses this season as... Just buildings, just stuff, just junk that's in the way. Um, we're not making fizzle bases, but we absolutely want to slow players down. So I'm thinking the day one path. Uh, is this three yard? This is a huge deck for three yard. Wow. Um, yeah. So I mean, if we look at this deck, what do we try? Is this really three engines? This doesn't make sense. I guess it is. Wow. It just seems really big. There's two ramps and I don't know. Um, so yeah, like the idea again is to try to slow players down. So we want to go to the furthest points away and it's probably going to be, I don't know, that's a little bit too close together, but I'm not sure exactly, but uh, maybe something like that, putting the cannons around because there's, uh, you know, there's no way to slow those down. And I guess maybe keeping the engines somewhat together so they can't just flash kill every cannon. Um, because this is what, you know, probably not in this format, but I mean, this is what the decks are going to look like right out of the gates at 3 and 4 ER. Um, and the thing is with Captain Rodero, he's got a few different abilities, right? So his Seeker ability will work really well for just distracting stuff. And I think that's kind of an underrated thing that people aren't really talking about is, you know, he's got kind of, it, it's like having a flying Everspark with the Seekers that have way more health. There's only two of them, for sure, but I mean, they'll still distract stuff and they're not going to get instantly killed by machine guns and flamethrowers, so that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I think we want to go troop health all the way. Now we got building damage here next which is, you know, going to be helpful. All the stat nodes, obviously, we're going to want to max them at some point. I can't say exactly when or where, but, um, yeah. So then we got some interesting choices. I feel like Scorchers are just a nothing node that doesn't make sense because it's not a fizzle meta, so we don't need them. We can pretty well just avoid them as much as we want. Um, 
Sorry, Floki's <laughs> licking the back of my arm. Um, yeah, and rocket. Now the thing is, we, we're saying defense is weak, but rocket launchers with with full DBD, and if they can get to this building health right away, you know that's going to be something. That's far away though. That's not really day one in my opinion. Skipping everything to get to building health, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Um, critters. Another help to rocket choppers. We have smokes somewhat early. Yeah, we got smokes right after four yard. Um, I'm probably gonna grab this troop damage here. We got a troop health. It's just everything, everything, everything spells rocket choppers this season. Um, so I think it's gonna be really quick, really fast. Um, you know, whoever's the fastest is gonna win. And then if we go to four engines and we bypass some of these defenses, um, the next thing we get is smoke, and we already have flare. Right? So flare and smoke together, that's that's a good rock chopper combo, and then that's followed by more troop damage. Um, and then I think probably after that point, I guess actually building health's not that far off. After that point, it probably makes the most sense. Now, here's the thing. In this little area here, we've got warriors, we've got grenadiers, we've got mechs. We have to unlock one of them. We're probably not gonna use any of those troops in this meta. It doesn't, none of them really make sense. Um, the thing is, it's either you you get the mech and then you can get the building health early or you get the warrior and you can get the heavy choppers early early and i think the long play warriors make more sense but if you get warriors and you take that path you're gonna be a very long time before you get to building health because building health is technically at four yards but only if you unlock the mech um you know i think if you can win and you can go the top path with the shock launcher and we got the extra shock launcher over here. Um, that kind of makes sense. Um, the thing is, if we don't have any of these unlocked, we actually can't go from the mech backwards to get the shock launchers until we go up to here and unlock the critter launcher. At that point, then we could open this node. So you're totally blocked from going backwards if you get the mech. And the Grens are just, there's no benefit to them at all, really. Um, you know, Grens are good. You stop that, Floki. Grens are good in a fizzle meta. This isn't a fizzle meta, so it doesn't look like it anyways. Yeah, it could be wrong, but uh, yeah. So some things to think about for sure. And yeah, I think that's the path that we want. I think we want mechs. I think we want the building health. Um, Oh, we forgot to get the boom cannons. We definitely, definitely, definitely want the boom cannons. That's going to be huge. Um, maybe even a doom cannon, since we're going this way. I didn't think we were going this way. That's why I didn't talk about it. But Because, um, I mean, yeah, we got flares and we got smokes, but we don't have shocks. We don't have tiny shocks. We, don't, we do have critters. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Because you can go very heavy rocket chopper, anti-rocket chopper, and maybe have a chance. Or you can do what I think is the safe route because you're not really going off path that much um, and go fully offense with the rock choppers and Captain Rodero. Um, and that's going to be interesting. So it's a really cool start of the season. It's very different. And I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see what happens. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it if uh, you guys use that code check in the shop. And let me know what you think. What's your plan for the day one path? Let me know down below. And we'll catch the next one, guys. Check it out. Back, back.